everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ManyCam in conjunction with Zoom to enhance your video calls and conferences. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to Zoom and click New Meeting. This will open up the new meeting that you're going to have. From here, you click on the little arrow right beside Video and select the ManyCam Virtual Webcam. Now that you've set ManyCam up as a video source within Zoom, I'll give you a rundown of where everything's located within ManyCam and how to use each feature. The first things that you'll notice within ManyCam are that you have a big preview and some small previews down here. The big preview is what you're outputting into Zoom. So for example, here I have a red scene. The red scene will show up in Zoom. If I was to add another color here, for example, green, and then switch to that color using transitions or cuts, it will be represented in Zoom through your webcam. Within each preset, you have the option to add multiple different video sources and layers. So just a little rundown of some of the sources. We have webcams, games, IP cameras, our mobile app, media files such as videos and images, YouTube videos or live streams, your desktop, colors, websites, RTMP servers, or NDI inputs. Each of the video sources that I've just shown you can either be used standalone in a scene by themselves, like I'm showing with colors, or they can be added as layers. Layers allow you to add multiple different video sources into a single scene to be able to manipulate them in any way you need. To demonstrate this, I'll clear my scenes. And show you me overlaid over a weather map. So I'll use the web source and paste a link to a weather map. Not change anything with the CSS and click OK. Now this is a live weather map coming straight from one of the local websites in Montreal. Now to show myself over the video, all I have to do is add a new layer, position the layer in the bottom corner, add my webcam, and then go to virtual backgrounds. Virtual backgrounds allow you to either blur, replace, or chroma key out your background. I don't have a green screen at home, so I'm just going to use replace. Now that my first scene is set up, I'm going to create a new one. To do so, you can either click on the preview and add a video source directly, or go to presets and click new. Here, I'm going to call this one PowerPoint. I don't want any pictures and pictures in this video and click create. Now you have a blank scene. Now that my new scene is set up, I want to add some PowerPoint slides to show to the meeting participants. How I'm going to do this is I've exported my PowerPoint slides as PNG images and I'm going to add them to a playlist. To add a new playlist, on the main menu, click playlist, open up your files, and just drag and drop them. They'll appear in the order that you dragged them. Once your slides are set up, you can use the hotkeys control and the left or right arrow to switch between different video sources within the playlist. While using the playlist function, you can also add another layer on top as I did with the weather scene. So for example, here I'll just add my webcam and go back to virtual backgrounds and replace it once again. Here now I appear floating in front of the slides to everybody in the Zoom meeting. And I can still use the hotkeys to switch between the different video sources. As of the latest update to ManyCam, we've actually added a new feature called NDI. NDI is a protocol that allows you to have Skype calls as guests in ManyCam. So to do so here, I'm calling myself on my phone and I'm going to add a new layer. And within that layer, I'm going to go to NDI inputs and select the active Skype call. Once it's loaded, I can get the view from my phone directly as a video source within ManyCam with very little latency.
This feature allows you to have guest speakers join your video calls very quickly and without additional software. Now that you've seen how sources and layers work, I'm gonna show you how all the other features in Manicam. So here, I'll just remove some layers. So, other than adding layers and removing your background, Manicam also has a ton of other features that allow you to enhance your video calls. The first one is draw and text. Uh, one of the features is blur. So for example, if you have some sensitive information you wanna hide on screen, you can just turn on the little box and drag it onto the video. This will allow you to blur as much or as little of the screen as you want. Draw, as its name implies, allows you to just draw directly onto your screen to highlight important information or just have some fun. So for example here, let's point towards this big storm. Uh, you can also add shapes such as circles, squares, arrows, probably better drawn than the one I did, and text. Text allows you just to add some text to the simple to the bottom, such as this is a weather map. Change the font, let's say Arial Black, size 12, and make the color green. The next feature I want to show are clocks. So Manicam has three default settings, which are clocks, stopwatches, and timers. Clocks just show the current time and you can also add the date so for example let's do date stopwatches show you the time that's elapsed so in this case let's say the meeting supposed to last 10 minutes you could just flip on a stopwatch start the timer and it will show how much how long the meeting's been going on for and the last one are timers which are the same concept as stopwatches but the inverse so let's say the meeting is going to last five hours which i set up already I can just start it as soon as the meeting starts and it'll start counting down to show how much time is left. The next feature that I'd like to speak about are lower thirds. Lower thirds allow you to use a small bar at the bottom, like a news channel, to introduce new ideas, concepts, or things you want to speak about during your call. So for example here, I have Chris from Medicam, and this is a demo. And when I turn it on, a bar will appear and introduce my next concept. Uh, we have a couple built-in options, so you can switch between different ones as you go, or you can create a new lower third with a different preset and turn that one on to introduce the next concept. This allows you to easily switch between different lower thirds whenever you need them. In addition to using all the features that Medicam has to offer, while you're using Medicam as a video source of Zoom, you can record the entire uh, broadcast take snapshots, or stream directly to Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch, or use our latest feature, NDI Output, to stream it to another NDI-compatible device. In addition to all the tools Medicam has to offer to use to enhance your broadcasts, recordings, or video conferences such as with Zoom, we also give you settings that allow you to set your resolution up to 4K, your FPS up to 60, change color grading, or zoom, flip, rotate, and invert your video. So in general, that's a good overview of the features Medicam has to offer. There's a lot more I need to cover, but I will be covering those in separate feature-specific videos. If there's anything specific you would like to know about, please let us know in the comments, and I'll uh, create it in the next video. Thanks.